Finding talented leaders in the final round takes a wild stab and a lot of luck. No one loved to take chances more than Cowboy General Manager Tex Schramm, especially when it came to acquiring speed. It was the 12th round, and it was like, oh, who are we going to take? And, and, and Tex being the, the ringmaster, you know, he was Barnum and Bailey uh, of football. And it's like, well, what can I do to create a splash? Let's draft Carl Lewis. The Cowboys selected Lewis at 344, three picks away from Mr. Irrelevant. Dallas hoped the gold medal sprinter would be just like Olympic champion Bullet Bob Hayes, who the Cowboys drafted 20 years earlier. Many great track names have sought football fame, but Bob Hayes is a football player who just happens to be the world's fastest living human. The difference here was that Bob Hayes really was a football player. Carl had no interest in playing football. I mean, at that time, he was such a big star, and he could go overseas and compete in track meets and make a lot more money than he could make as a 12th round draft choice in the NFL. And uh, had he played, I think he'd have lasted about a day. Another Olympian, shot putter Michael Carter, proved to be a great pick, however. The SMU nose tackle was taken by San Francisco in the fifth round and became an all pro. Carter, linebacker Todd Shell, and safety Jeff Fuller helped make the 49ers champions eight months later. Despite picking 24th, the 49ers also got Ohio State tight end John Frank and five-time Pro Bowl guard Guy McIntyre. Back to Craig, Montana rolling out to his right, throws, completes it to McIntyre. He's down to the one, he fights for the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. But of all the 84 draftees, None match the success of Michael Carter. Is Michael Carter the last Olympian to get drafted and make any kind of an impact? I think he might be. Then he goes to the LA Olympics, finishes second in the shot put, gets a silver medal, and five months later, he's winning the Lombardi Trophy and getting a ring. I mean, that's an unbelievable stretch for an athlete. I mean, I'm not sure we're ever going to see something like that happen again.